Welcome to SoulFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. I am SoulFlow TV, SoulFlow, and this is Brains and the Beat. The beautiful Brains and the Beat. Today we have a fun, call it fun. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Fun, funny story, but we're gonna talk a little bit about it too. So we're gonna read it first and then talk about it. This story was we got this from the Star, and this story right here said. A rude note was left after thieves raided a tree of a retired cop and the retired cop wants justice for a loss of his, his jimblings. If star or star apple basically. Right. I know star apple them here. Jimblin and a star apple. Star fruit. Star fruit. Star fruit, star apple, whichever section of Jamaica you're going to. When we don't have a beer, we see them enough like on the beach. Mm -hmm. And they're sitting there. But they're really not growing up places like Clarendon and mm -hmm. them places there. But most people probably don't know what we're talking about. Make an insert one picture in yeah. this, right? For those of you who don't know what a jimbalin is, our star fruit is, we'll insert a picture. Anyways, the story reads, a retired policeman was left furious after culprits broke into his yard and emptied his jimbalin, our star fruit tree, leaving only one single fruit with a note saying, Uno to mean. And a middle finger drawn beside it. <laughs> I reacted how anyone would. It's your land and you're vexed and you're mad. Winter Clark, who lives in Bridgeport, St. Catherine, told the star. The man said, I woke up Sunday morning at about 6.15 for church. And when I checked the park, the car porch, I observed a cartridge paper with the presentation. The man, we will speak his Pokemon. Uh, yes, I uh, retired cop man. A cartridge paper with the presentation written on it. Oh God! They cleaned the tree completely. <laughs> they cleaned the tree completely. It had on about four dozen fruits. And God, wait, 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 pause, pause. <laughs> One tree. I mean for real. He caught, <laughs> he caught in jimbling them. <laughs> one yeah. jimbling tree. Now you know what? People probably are asking. him. And he said yeah, no. People probably are saying, baby, pick some of them. Then, no. <laughs> and he said no. <laughs> <laughs> I will finish reading this. So, hear him. Clark who, was, Clark who has numerous fruit trees in his yard. Alright. So he have numerous fruit trees in his yard, but you know how much... <laughs> <laughs> but you know how much jimble in the power one tree. <laughs> I saw. Clark, who has numerous fruit trees in his yard, including plums, mangoes, kneesberries, said that he is aware that people might have stolen from him before, but never on this magnitude or <laughs> which disrespect. Or with such. Or with such disrespect. When someone steals and leaves, it's different from when somebody steals and leaves a note. <laughs> it's like a guy who kills someone and then leaves a message. Signal that he wants to show his authority and power to show me that I must plant and he must reap, Clark said. Ain't that that thing a serious one? Very serious. He, he quit. Um, somebody thief couple fruits out of yard to somebody committing murder and... I don't know. Reported to the police. All right. So the 72-year-old man said that. Remember, a retired police. This, you know, the 72-year-old man said that he has taken the matter very seriously and has made a report to the police. Clark added that he wants the culprit to be exposed to the full measure of the law. I don't know what kind of law they have. Fifty people <laughs> fruits out of the tree. I don't know neither. The Jamaica police have time for that. Go search down for Jimbelin thief. <laughs> the more that, the more that people where I get killed and rob a Jamaica and they're sitting there. The more I have time for go search for Jimbelin thief. <laughs> I want to do someone else. <laughs> Make it four dozen fruit them go on here, sir. Anyway, the 72 year old said that he want he said he wants the culprit to be exposed to the full measures of the law. What, 30 days in jail or me don't know. From this from his years of experience in law enforcement, Clark theorizes that the culprits might have been a group of high school boys who were hanging out close to his gate in the wee hours of the Sunday morning. 
So high school picking a hang out on them all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said the handwriting as well as the material the note was written on also points to high schoolers. Mm -hmm. Mr. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, the high school <laughs> No man. How the handwriting I gotta tell you how one high schooler. Yeah, no. How the material we write pan? I gotta tell you how one high schooler. He told the star that he is upset about the incident because he relies heavily on his fruits to keep himself and his family healthy. All right, that part that we can see, right? But the tree didn't. They? They're not teeth the tree. So the tree I got beer back more jimbling. I in the meantime, you have. They say you have other fruit, mangoes and all these other things. Nesberry. Nesberry and all them something there. This is. <laughs> you remember what you had written? What say? You're too mean. You're too mean. If I didn't have a mean baby, then we'd have leave somebody uh, star yeah. food with pine tree. I true. And say, all right, fuck. And the man, I'll count them. <laughs> I said there was four dozen of them for the tree. And you have so much fruit tree all around. But you know how much fruit the on one tree? Twelve, a dozen. Forty-eight jimbling gone. So you need count forty-eight <laughs> one by one. <laughs> Oh this is an avenue so people get fruits all the time. But you know how some people are? They want all a dozen. And some people want multiple times. He lamented. <laughs> the brother has sound like him is a man where we have 48 jimbling pan tree and pick one and give. Mm -hmm. And you ask a couple and give you one. <laughs> so, <laughs> and the youth, them now, take no check in the alien. The youth, them say, alright, sir. So. You want to know what star fruit? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna raid this tree. It will be your back fruit field. That go on, so you're too mean. Couple of comments here. Uh, no, so what a what Bastille a Fiety. So what a cheeky buggers or what cheeky buggers? That's Peter so game. British. Pizza game Martin. Martin dead with laugh. Joe Bro, see. The rude, disrespectful, and, and thievery. But and most Jamaicans has this attitude. They dare to call people selfish when they want to partake of other people's belongings. The, the freeness, freeness mentality. mentality. No wonder so many gone astray. In all reality, when a country have a large amount of people selling, jimbling, guinep, what, what are Bat batteries? And candies to make a living. <laughs> <laughs> that country cannot go forward <laughs> with the many people uneducated and, and untrained to do a real, real job. job. Who, who, who critical who critical think and reason or problem, problem while on, on a job. job? Jamaican's morals and values have just gone. Some, some are bringing into what? Jamaican morals and values have just, just gone. gone some. some are some are bringing into the world and raising criminals with it. We don't understand that it. Judge <laughs> Brown say a wicked act. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Joe Brown take the thing too serious. Yeah, man. Okay, Joe Brown is taking this way too friggin' serious because, like we said before, a four dozen jimbling, four dozen star fruit. So I don't know where all this come from about freeness mentality yeah, and so morals. many gone astray and morals exactly. and values. <laughs> when we grow up in Jamaica, we look off people sitting off on the entry. If me, <laughs> if, <laughs> I look that they close, if it depend on their property but they close to the road. You yeah, flip yeah. stone and look off two mango man and go on about your business. Yeah. Or you got ox and they might give you. And then don't give you back on when they say you're thiefy. Yeah, that me is sure, not so serious. I'm sure enough everybody in Jamaica thief some fruit at some, at point, some point in their life. Right. It's so not, all not the serious. So all the extraness is just is just being blown out, out of proportion, right? We have right. way more serious problems in Jamaica than if you are act serious about some Jimbaline. Jimbaline thing uh, wicked. Jano. The wicked, the gentleman must have just saved him in life and his family. Yeah, man saying depend, he depends on these things to keep him and his family healthy. 
So it's like it, nobody else in a Jamaica now has Jim Bling and he can't afford Jim Bling. Blah, we don't. And a Jim Bling alone can't keep your health. Aye, right, uh, we don't. Then Jim Bling and him and his family are not going to be healthy anymore. It's, it's a bad look. Yeah, and he don't have no more food chain <laughs> but the Jim Bling. Aye, right, sir. Oh, my God. You know, the one that's funny is, we don't take the one that's too serious, but. I would like to hear me feel some people are cussing in the comment section still and call with teeth and they say, watch and see. I'll be just want to hear what people have to say about this. So, again, it's all Flow TV, man, and the beautiful Brains and the Beat. Beat. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified as soon as the videos are uploaded. And we're up out of here. Peace. Deuce.